As the search for survivors continues in Turkey and Syria following last week's devastating earthquakes, a project on the Purdue University campus could someday make that work easier. It's a robotic dog. Professor Aniket Bera says the robotic dog is being programmed and developed in places that other humans, rovers, or even actual living dogs cannot get to due to space restraints or other dangers. For instance, it could crawl through collapsed buildings after an earthquake using instruments to detect body heat, CO2, or other indications of trapped survivors. Obviously, we have a lot more capabilities than a dog, but they can travel or travel in uneven terrains or in the coldest or the hottest of areas where we don't have to. So this is essentially building a good teamwork with humans to solve uh, different kind of stuff. Now, the dog is commercially available, but Barra and his team are working on the brains that control its navigation and allow it to sense its surroundings. He also can see it being used as a therapy dog, understanding real human emotions. I never so. thought about it in that sense. It's a therapy dog. But, yeah. that it, but the, the things that they're able to do, though, as we're seeing just with the devastation mm -hmm. that's happening right now, that would really, really mm -hmm. come in handy. Yeah.